Hi, I'm Joanna Milkowski. I'm here in Fontana, California at the A.B. Miller High School Car Show. We're going to take a look at some of these cars, talk to the owners. Hope you have a great time. I'm here with Margaret and Jerry Aguilar. Margaret, can you tell me a little about your car? Well, it's a 55 Chevy, and my husband restored it from the ground up, and uh, took him about three years, and there it is. Great. Jerry? I have a 1957 Pontiac Super Chief. Uh, it was a family car. We did purchase it in 1977. We drove it as a family car, we stored it, and then we restored it. My husband did all the work on it except for the paint and the upholstery. Well, great. I understand that both of you were here since the very beginning of this car show. Yeah, I think this is the 12th year that this car show's been going on. And it's a fundraiser for the kids and their school, and so we like to come and support it. How did you get involved with it? My children uh, attended this school when it first opened and so we always involved in the community of Fontana and so we started coming when it first started and we're still here. Hi, I'm here with Rob Hornsby and his 71 Ford Pinto. Can you tell me a little bit about your car? Yeah, it's a 71 Ford Pinto. Uh, it's got a turbocharged 2300 in it, a uh, little bit of nitrous to help it out. Uh, just a car that we go play at the street drags with. We go to the street drags out of California Speedway. Uh, so far we've done a best in a quarter mile of a 1004 at 134 mile an hour, and that was with my mom driving it to the track. Wow. Okay, so why a Ford Pinto of all cars? Because uh, that makes us the underdog. Well, actually, you know, we do some roundy round racing at the Orange Show Speedway. We've done that, and we wanted to kind of broaden the horizon for the Ford Pinto, so we went street racing with it. So how long ago did you get your car? Um, we got it about three years ago. A friend of ours actually donated to us, Don from Partain's Transmission, um, and we kind of went through the whole car from there. Wow. Um, what exactly have you done to your car? Well, as you can see, we got a little different wheel than stock, so we got a good set of wheels on it, nice set of slicks on the back. We've changed the rear end out to a big 8-inch. Um, of course, changed the power plant under the hood, intercooled, paint job. 
my cousin did all the interior in the car, Ron Mangus. Um, pretty much the whole car from the ground up. Took us about eight months to build it. I'm here with Lewis Servin and his 1932 Ford. Can you tell me a little bit about your car? Well, the car is, is original from the Ford factory. It's never been in a wreck. It's got the original fenders, original bumpers, original lights, cow lights. And as far as the, as far as the car is concerned, as far as the paint, it's only been painted three times and the original paint was black from the factory. Uh, the car now has been modified. Uh, originally it had a flathead, now it's got a Chevrolet engine, Chevrolet transmission, and a Ford Mustang rear end. So how common is a two-door? A two-door 32, uh, considering that uh, there was 28-29s were, were made two years, 30-31s were made two years, 32 was only made one year, 33-34 cars were made two years. So in reality a 32 Ford body and there was different styles in 32 were pretty rare uh, as far as the body style alone and they're a lot different than the rest of the cars. Uh, Two-door sedan bodies um, a lot of them were transferred into race type cars for Bonneville salt flat era and uh, to find a nice steel body with all the wood still intact uh, is a pretty rare find and I've had this car probably 30 35 years now and uh, the upholstery is not original um, it's a funny story about that this upholstery was put in TJ Mexico about 20 years ago and it's still in pretty good shape today and I see no reason in changing it <laughs> so how did you come upon this car um, well there's a small town in Redlands which I knew a friend over there and um, consequently we were going by the old part of Redlands California and I seen the back of the bumper of this car sticking out of the garage so consequently I stopped and asked what that was and as soon as they showed me what it was I knew what type of car it was and so first thing a question I ask is is it for sale and they said well it belongs to my son he's in the service and we don't think we want to sell it but leave us your name so that's how we left it and probably about oh, three or four months after that I got a call from this family and saying that they didn't want to sell it they did keep my name luckily and so we made a deal and in reality I have bought this car for five hundred dollars Wow so tell me about this infamous donut gang Whoa. the donut gang now that's that's really a funny story the way it turned out there's a donut shop in Fontana on the corner of Cherry and Arrow well there was me and my friend Jerry Cossey we always stopped on Saturdays and got a cup of coffee and donut because we left we lived in the area well we usually take our cars over there he's got a 32 three window coupe which is another rare car so what happened was uh, one day a couple guys stopped and wanted to know what we were doing there so we were just having a cup of coffee and this then this originated I would think we've probably been doing this probably five years ago and pretty soon everybody wanted to know well can we go and can we go and sure enough it ended up that the guys wanted to bring their cars over there just for coffee and donuts on a Sunday so consequently it was a lot of fun and, uh, and to this day we probably have we meet every we, we probably have about I don't know between 30 and 35 cars that show up on a Sunday morning rain snow or shine of course they don't snow in California but uh, we do they do show up and we have a lot of fun and it's just we get there about 8 o'clock and we we leave oh say about 9 30 or 10 o'clock sometimes we take a ride somewhere and or you know just hang around and talk and uh, just have a lot of fun and most of the guys nowadays it come to find out were high school buddies of ours so everybody that's in the donuts gang donut gang uh, knew each other back in the old days and it's kind of funny because anybody asked us who the donut gang is and we kind of, we, we, we kind of say we kind of laugh he says well you know what uh, we're all retired police and sheriffs that's how it comes to be the donut gang everybody says really he says, yeah and of course you know it's just a joke because of the police they like to stop at the donut shops all the time 
So that's how the Donut Gang originated. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lewis. Sure, no problem. I'm here with Jack Hughes in a 61 Corvette. This car is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Um, I understand that you've completely rebuilt it from the ground? Pretty much, yeah. I uh, stripped all the paint off of it and uh, did a lot of fiberglass work. I, uh, I spent about, uh, about two and a half years rebuilding it. Uh, it's got all new chrome on it, moldings, emblems, lettering. Um, it was actually painted about 26 years ago. Uh, uh, pinstripe by uh, Vandervoort, Ricky Vandervoort did the, the striping and the graphics. Um, we just put a new interior in it here about two years ago. Um, it's just been a constant uh, build and rebuild and modify and change. So I understand these uh, this vehicle is very rare? Yeah, there was less than 11,000 of them built in 61 and probably half of those have been destroyed. So there's probably less than 5,000 of the 61s still remaining. And uh, the color, I understand that's not original? Well, I, that's not the original color that was on the car when I bought it, um, but silver was an original color in 61. I just took some liberties with it. It's a uh, DuPont Imeron, which is a rubber-based paint, and it expands and contracts with the uh, fiberglass so it doesn't crack quite so bad. I'm here with Ronnie Gofton, it's 1935 Ford sedan delivery. Can you tell me a little bit about your car? Yeah, it's pretty rare. There's 80 of them left in the United States, and uh, I've had it for about 30 years, and uh, I got it in a box, and it was all in pieces. There was no doors and fenders, uh, no motor, and just had to find everything and fabricate all the stuff that I needed for it and uh, put it together. It's kind of like a puzzle. What kind of engine does it have now? It has a 95 350 Chevy with an automatic trance and a 9-inch Ford with disc brakes and air conditioning. I bought it in Orange County and it just came in, in pieces, you know, and uh, I've had it for, like I said, about 30 years.
Thanks for joining us at Fontana, California. I'm Joanna Malkowski. Until next time, thanks.